So you are so excited. You finally are able to travel and paint overseas or maybe domestically, but anyway, you have to fly there. It's a little easier with something like watercolor or acrylic, but you're an oil painter. What do you do? What about um, solvents? What about all that stuff at the airport? How do you handle wet paintings? Well, I travel a little bit differently than just chucking it all in my luggage because of doing backpacking and cycling while I'm painting, but I think a lot of uh, crossover will happen. So let me show you what is in one of my four bicycle panniers palette. Um, you won't find this anywhere, but you can find a, a lightweight, sorry, easel. You can find a lightweight easel. Um, there are many options available now. Mine is just under a pound because it's homemade. You can probably find one that is a couple pounds. A lightweight option for a tripod. This is an Amazon tripod. I kid you not, $14. It is incredibly lightweight. It goes as tall as I need it. Now I'm 5'3", but you know, it, I'm sure it'll work for you unless you're something like six foot five. Um, because it's lightweight, there will be some shakiness, but I'm remedying that by putting a carabiner here and then I can clip something heavy like this pannier to it and that will anchor it. For carrying wet paintings and for carrying my supports that I paint on, I have about 15 supports with me. Just one of them wouldn't fit in here. This is a linen panel. That's on the heavier side compared to what I'm carrying. So I have pre-toned and then left some blank of this, this Canson um, board. And it, I've used it in the past. It, it, it has a little bit of flex to it, but it will stay stiff enough in here. I've tested it to keep from hurting each, you know, to keep from messing up the other paintings. This is from Raymar. They also make um, panels, which are on the expensive side. And I don't know if they're as light as this, probably not. Um, in this bag, I have a garbage bag for, you know, all the garbage you generate, like used paper towels. Um, gloves, I always paint with gloves because I don't like getting paint on my hands and often where I go, there's no soap and water to wash. Um, and also some paper towels in there, which of course you can usually find traveling while you're traveling. Here is an apron, which is a little on the heavy side, but it's better, I think for me than carrying extra clothing that's just for painting. And look, it has my website, BrittGreenlandArtist.com. And in here, I have solvent. This is a commonly asked question. How can you bring solvent on the airplane? This solvent is from a company called Art Tree House. They have a website and this is bio-based solvent. It is non-flammable and is supposed to be good to go to fly with. I'll let you know, I've never done it yet. Uh, and then solvent-free uh, M-gram oil paint. This paint has flown with me before, no problems. I always do print out the manufacturer's spec sheet and I include it with the paint, but as far as I know, no one's ever checked it yet, but better safe than sorry. And there are two different ways I can use my palette. I can clip gray palette paper to the bottom and use that, or I can set this little sealable palette right on top. And you can find all kinds of different sizes that might work better for yours. But I cut this palette paper to fit on each side, and then I can use both sides for mixing paint and painting. Then when I'm done, I seal it back up so I can save some of that paint, hopefully for the next session. And yes, it will all squish together, but you know, we mix colors and I have some extra palette paper along for that. And it's important to find the right size sealable palette that works for your easel or 
some people don't worry about sealing it again and they just throw away the unused paint. I don't like to do that because I never know where I'm going to find paint while I'm traveling. So um, in this pocket, I have just three bristle brushes, sorry, two bristle brushes, one little fine detail brush and my palette knife. I've cut off the ends of these paint brushes and taped them up just so that they fit snugly in this bag without warping the ends. And this is very important, one of the first steps in every painting I set up, and that is a little thumbnail sketchbook uh, where I can make an outline of a sketch with my viewfinder. And then I use that, I do two or three of these, find the best composition, and then I start my painting there. Um, you can find these at so there dot com or is it and so there dot and so there dot com they're called jotters if you look under notebooks um, i think that is all just some extra carabiners but anyway safe travels do let me know if you have traveled with paint how lightweight your kit can be um, any tricks and tips for me i would appreciate and i'd also love to hear from someone else who does cycling and painting together or backpacking and painting together. Uh, like this video, share this video, subscribe if you would like to, and have a great day.